Yeah, this is a video update I'm doing for a friend of mine named Ed. I wanted to see what my latest still look like. So this is my latest still configuration. Kind of go through the bit real quick. So I'm using a 30 gallon spike brew kettle on the bottom here. Goes into a gas expansion chamber which I made myself out of two giant stainless steel uh, salad bowls. Reducer. And then into four copper bubble plates. I purchased all those. The only thing I made myself is those two parts in the middle there. Just about everything else I purchased now. And then there's the deflegimator. Goes over the top, comes down the condenser, comes out the bottom there. That's uh, core number 13, so we're just a little over 10% alcohol by volume right now. And this is my cooling control unit here. Got two cool pumps with separate cooling systems. The one with the redder coolant goes through the condenser. The one with the more pink coolant goes through the uh, deflegimator. And uh, I'm using a glycol condenser I made myself out of a wall-mounted AC unit. Tore it apart, put the evaporator part in the cooler there with coolant and water mixture and then put the uh, radiator in there and ran the hoses through it and that basically is what we call a glycol condenser. Kind of homemade, but it works. I can keep the condenser down into the 44.4 uh, .4 degree range right now. The uh, deflegimator just runs through that small little uh, three fan uh, PC cooling radiator which is way more than you need. I only have one fan running on it right now. On the end there, the other two aren't even turned on. It's more than enough to keep it cool. Part of the heat is pulled off the deflegmator by the condenser there. The system works really well. Produces at a pretty good rate. So I had the lid of the uh, brew kettle cut and a fairing welded on by a welding company here in Bakersfield. Did a lot of the other welding myself. But originally I started off with a five gallon turkey fryer and made my first still out of that. And then I moved on to a keg, which I purchased and converted into a still. And now I've moved on to this. And hopefully I won't make any more changes, but you never know. That's all. Hope you enjoyed.